Monday evening and I'm sitting here and I really feel like I want to make a Christmas cake. It will be really nice because you can make it straight away and then decorate it either fancy or just keep it plain. It's like um, 9.15, 9.15 p.m. Um, I'm going to go out now and get the ingredients so I can make it first thing in the morning. Quite, isn't it? I'm administrator there, so I just. Okay, so I'm back home and I've lost my keys. How is that physically possible to lose your keys whilst you're still in the car? I'm gonna make this long awaited Christmas cake. <laughs> um, I got everything last night. I was gonna soak the fruit last night, but I didn't get round to it. Anyway, this is where it starts. So I've got 800 grams of dried fruit here. And I'm just gonna put that to soak with a little bit of, a bit of alcohol, actually. You can use brandy or some, well, rum. I have got some amaretto that seems to have been there since the 1900s. Um, so I'm gonna use that, but you can use apple juice if you don't wanna go down the alcoholic route. recipe I'd normally add four eggs, four medium-sized eggs or three large eggs but I'm experimenting with flaxseed because I've been doing a bit of research and apparently it's really good to bind cakes. If you want to do like a Victoria sponge it's probably not recommended to use flaxseed instead of eggs but if you're doing cookies or something that's really quite dense apparently it works really well. So apparently you need one tablespoon of flaxseed like ground up and three tablespoons of water to every one egg. Hopefully it'll work. Here's the baked cake fully cooled down and then I'm going to put the marzipan on it. So icing sugar down on the surface and then roll out that marzipan using white marzipan, keeping it moving so that it doesn't stick to the surface. Then I use my rolling pin to measure exactly how much of marzipan I need, how big I need to roll the circle. So roll it out, keep it moving and it's about the length of the rolling pin so that's pretty much there. I'm folding the marzipan over the rolling pin, it makes it much easier to put it over the cake. And I've got maple syrup on the cake board to make it, the cake stick, and maple syrup onto the cake to make the marzipan stick. And the cake goes on the cake board upside down because the bottom of the cake is flatter. And then manoeuvre the marzipan over the cake and let it drape over, and then very gently let it fold over and smooth it around. Cut straight down with a knife the excess off and smooth it with cake smoothers, or you can use your hands. I really want the sugar paste to be thicker than the marzipan, so I did buy a kilo of sugar paste, and that'll be way too much, but it should give a nice thick coating, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> 